Welcome to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug. This is the Conquest of Helios out on itch for a price of $3.50. It is, as you can see from the screen here, the opposite of a grand strategy game. It is a petite strategy game. Let's hop into my current ongoing game on easy because I didn't want to hop into hard right away. But there are two difficulties to play as now. This is kind of the main screen. You're going to see the entire game. And I started in Region 7. So the P next to that little, I guess, bird symbol is me. Also, I conquered Region 5. So 7 and 5 are me. I can view every other region and what their current uh, money is, their troops, their morale, their trade level, their tech level, and how many goods they have. And if you see a flag next to that region, that means they have a treaty with me to not go to war for a set amount of time, usually two years from what I've seen thus far. Also, I'm assuming the frowny face, when you do enough uh, gifting and other kinds of trade, you get a smiley face. I haven't got that just yet. I did do two treaties with six and five. They ran out and then I took over five with my army. So knowing the amount of army that is available to you and how much the other countries have is important. Now you get three turns here before everyone else gets turns. This is currently winter of year five. Each year you get your taxes, which is money. And let's just do some turns here and to see how things go in year five. So right now my military is down a lot. I only have nine troops. So I can conscript, I can hire, I can move, and I can war. And honestly, I feel like some of this text could be better in how it looks. It takes a little bit to go, all right, that says move and war, right? Yeah, this guy is very similar. So let us hire some bandits. So three mercenaries for nine ducats. Let's do that. Yes, now I have 12 and the band merrily slashes off to the army camp. I have 102 ducats in my treasury. I can also build I can have speeches to increase morale, I can hold a feast to increase morale, and I can research, which costs 15 and will increase my technology. Let's do that. So tech level is now 27. And certain things require different levels of tech and or goods and or trade, and it's a lot of just number crunching. So let's try some diplomacy here. What if I look for a treaty with number four. So I want to ally here with, well, actually, they don't have a number next to their face there, which means I have not done any gifting to them. So let's try another treaty here with the top most country, region six, the Copex, and say, hey, I failed to convince them to get an alliance of peace. So now the computer takes their turn. Raiders attacking trade routes in these regions, five, and I think that's me, I'm pretty sure. So, uh-oh, two rages war, wages war against four, so two and four, and yes, I am five and seven right now in terms of where my countries are, so that's not a good thing. We can go into uh, trade, and in trade, we have a protect, so protect five troops on my trade routes, so bandits and raiding parties don't want those, yes. Assigning five troops. We are in spring of year six. We don't have a lot of money. We have an okay amount of troops. I want to see actually four. All right, four has 45 troops. Whereas above me has uh, 44 troops. And I have 43. That is not a wise war to start. So I can conscript, but that affects my morale. So I can do some drafting here. And I get six more troops, but now the people are upset, and when morale is lower, you collect less taxes. Cash rules everything around me, we know this. Now, trading. I can also go to the market with whatever goods I have and sell those goods, and the price of goods will change. Right now, 10 is the going rate. Can I sell what I have? I have one good. Give me 10 ducats. So keeping an eye on that for every turn, if you see it for like one, then buy them. And then later on, sell them for 10. The Animal Crossing theory, right? 
So, computer did their thing. I have 87 in my bank. I got 12. My army, my army here is just getting just run rough shod. What happened? We need more military. Uh, can I move them? 12 troops, move them here. So, region 5, 0 in 7. Sure. I guess you can put them in both regions at a certain point. I just don't really have, like, I'm a little confused on some of this stuff because I'm in region 7, right? But also I'm running region 5, and I go to view of region 5, and I got 46, 61, 33, 13, 17. I keep going, and over on this one I have 87, 0, 37, 19, 27, 9. So I'm running more than one region, and that can get complicated on this tiny little playdate screen Boy, howdy. Four, no, that's a bad, four for 20 is a bad deal. Let's not do that. So thankfully I can say, no, let's not do that. They're going over somewhere else, it's fine. Over in develop, we can build, but only if we have enough of what we need to build. So the capital, 30 technology. And I don't think I have that. So yep, I lack that in the, I have 27 and 19 in my trade routes. So to increase my technology, we go to build and we go to research and then we cost 50 ducats to increase and now it is 30. So now on this final turn of this round, I can say, hey, I want to build a level three capital. So 30 ducats and 30 tech do that and that will increase my tax revenue annually slightly. And I need that money. Raiders on two and seven, which is kind of, I'm at seven, so I think I've got the thing here. I'm taking turns for both five and four seven because now I run both five and seven. That's a little weird, but sure. More importantly, I want to see the military of the top and the bottom underneath me. So 48 troops there and 48 troops there. Let's go after the top guy. So let's go military. Let's go war. Let's head up. And let's say I want to send 46 troops. So 15 defend the country. And cost is 23. Is this okay? Yes. Crushing our enemies. Commence the attack. Failed the attack. Curse your blunder ring generals. I inflicted three deaths, but lost seven guys. So, round two, successful attack. And 39 on their end, and only seven on my end. So, my troops need to rest. Here is the butcher's bill, 14 and 42. So, that lowers my military. Can I, if they have not much left, what is their current, uh, they have six troops. Six. So, in theory, I go to war we'll put more time one more time and say buddy i didn't ever want that piece in in the first place i want to go to war 35 should be enough to take out six troops and 18 is the cost crushing commencing success 28 wait they ha only had six so huzzah annihilated we have conquered number six the copex union so now i have six seven and five, and or five, six, and seven. That's like almost half the map here. So that is how this game goes. I am in year six. I can thankfully, if I am stuck, I can skip a turn. I can get help on some of these systems. And thankfully, I can save the game. So this is the conquest of Helios. It is on itch for $3.50. Link in the description. I am your host, Attack Slug. More videos right here. I'll see you next time, and I'm out.